Mark, what a day, what a weekend for this city. I mean, just historic levels of rain, as Greg mentioned, but now look at this. At last, she rests, but the river walk here certainly went through it. The city had to actually shut it down between State and Lake Street because of how high the water was going. They mentioned the river turning the flow of direction here. That was a story all across the city, from the river to the roads to basements to businesses. All of Chicago felt this one today. A washout of a weekend. Heavy downpours lingering over the city and suburbs for hours Sunday, causing major flooding. The Chicago River Walk underwater, even as city officials reversed the flow of the river back into Lake Michigan to try to ease the flooding. A similar scene in suburban Cicero with flooded basements and businesses here on West 29th Street is a food mart that just opened three weeks ago and today the owners having to funnel rainwater back onto the street. When I came, um, I just saw like all the water in the basement. Then my dad was like trying to get it all out. I saw like through a crack like it was like flooded up to the stairs. Cindy's flowers on 31st Street faced the same issue. Much like everyone else in the area, they did their best to get that water back out with this hose. Well, it looks around like 10 to 12 feet right now of water just in the basement alone. And that's where she has her boiler and her heater and everything that she needs for her house in general. A nightmare for drivers as well on streets and major expressways with roads completely underwater. Some drivers stranded and others towed to safety after trying to drive through rapidly rising water. I went and then my car just started floating and I said, oh snap. So my first reaction is to escape from the car. I opened the door and water started flooding my feet. We saw so much of that today, especially on 290. In fact, Illinois State Police telling us that's still shut down right now near Des Plaines. But so many drivers just trying to take on that flow of water in the underpasses. I promise you that's a battle you likely won't win. City officials urging people to not do that. Better off turning around. But much more progress have we seen throughout the day. And finally, a calm Chicago Mark. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.